this week's decision is, is interesting in terms of the, the rugby environment. So there's a little bit more to this decision than just looking at Steve's performance. So we had to look at what's in the best interests of the Super 14, and in this case the Reds and the Brumbies, versus what's in the best interests of our referee, in this case Steve Walsh. And when you look at what happened between Steve and the Brumbies on the weekend, where we would have said Steve had an average performance in terms of the competition, uh, it wasn't necessarily one of his best management nights, and I think he'd be the first to acknowledge that, but neither was it a poor performance, and I think that's really important to put up front. Uh, this was as much about the two teams as it was about Steve on the night. Uh, there were some real issues with two of the props, which will be addressed with the teams. Uh, and there were some issues with Stephen Hoyles and with Steve you know, as a captain-referee relationship. The difficulty that we face when we project that forward to this week is that we had Steve down to deal with the Brumbies again. Uh, and this game is very important in terms of the semi-final places. So you've got the Reds and the Brumbies fighting uh, desperately this week for higher honours in that top four, particularly the Reds. And we did not want to go forward into this game where it was all about the referee. Uh, we wanted to be all about the Reds and the Brumbies. So simple solution, get Steve out of that environment, which I, I think he very much agrees with philosophically. Uh, and we've simply swapped him with one of our other referees in week 13. Uh, it's the cleanest uh, solution for us. So we continue to see Steve as a class referee. He's in our merit panel at Super 14. There's no change to that. Uh, he'll operate in week 13 and Chris Pollock comes into week 12 and they effectively swap games um, rather than disrupt the, the timetable of this week in a, in a more clumsy way. So for us that was the cleanest fit. Uh, I've had a chat with Steve about that. He's very comfortable with that outcome. Uh, and unfortunately we've got the Nakado comments in the background to that and uh, hopefully today we'll, we'll see a solution around that at, at a disciplinary hearing.